Center. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. So, as I can already see by the title, y'all already know where I am, right? You already know where I'm at, y'all. There's no way that y'all thought I was about to go to Queens and not go to Jamaica Avenue. Like, what'd you think? So, the way that the train let me out on, I really wasn't trying to get let out on that side, but it's okay because I pretty much know this whole area, like the back of my hand, because I also used to live over here too. So, I lived about five minutes away from the Ave. Um, I live like by 82nd Road. If you know, you know. So for the people who are from this side of Queens, for me walking past that field, you should already know exactly where I am. Um, and if you don't know, I'm about to approach what used to be the Wendy's on the corner right here across the street from that movie theater. And fun fact about me, I used to work in that Wendy's that was right here and they changed it from a Wendy's to a um, ja ja uh, Japanese food place. They sure did do that. I am now walking up on the avenue and I'm gonna show you, they really took that Wendy's out of here. Y'all, I remember I was working a shift at that Wendy's. If you could work in there or work anywhere around here, you could work anywhere. Because I remember one time a homeless person came in and threw fries at my manager. Well, she really threw the fries at all of us, but if you could survive working around here, you could survive working anywhere. You see, y'all, they changed it to a Japan place, uh, Japanese food place. Look, y'all, this is the avenue. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back up this way. One misconception about Queens is that it's soft over here. And that is certainly not the case whatsoever. I used to come into this beauty supply store all the time. Is this my favorite one on the avenue? No, it's definitely not. The one, my favorite one is down there. If y'all see that Burlington sign right there, trust me. <laughs> y'all, I tried to apply in there and they didn't hire me either. I just wanna make sure that I give a shout out to LL Cool J, 50 Cent, Mob Deep, Nicki Minaj, Ja Rule. Everybody gets a shout out. I'm in Queens right now, Jamaica, Queens. Now this is the beauty supply store that I stayed in. Let's let's actually go inside. Y'all, that's how you know this is New York. They got noodles. So if you guys can see the difference in beauty supply from the Bronx and Jamaica Avenue. Y'all see these wigs back here? They literally have unlimited hair here. They have unlimited everything here, to be honest. I love this beauty supply store, y'all. Like I said in my Bronx video, there's literally nothing like NYC beauty supply stores. We're gonna cut through here and we're gonna keep it pushing. Y'all remember how I was telling y'all about the Bronx? Everybody's all about their hustle. There's always gonna be somebody outside of New York selling something, always. Y'all, honestly, I think I might have to cross the street because um, if I'm not mistaken, that's the margarita pizza over there. Yep, I see it. One margarita pizza margarita. with Parmesan and garlic. Ooh. We are inside. Hello. Can I get one slice of uh, pizza? Can I get a pepperoni and sausage pizza? Pepperoni and sausage? Yeah, one slice. Thank you. Hey, what? That's, that's my YouTube channel. Oh. Mm-hmm. So, name, uh, last name. Johnson. Oh, yes. Johnson. Johnson, mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, you should come later. Come later? When, when it's packed. When it's packed? Yeah. Ooh, look at my slice, y'all. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Oh, okay, y'all, do y'all see that? Please stop playing with me right now. I'm just gonna take it like this. 
take it like a champ. Mmm. Damn that boy is good. Damn. Oh. Margarita? Y'all got it. Oh. Y'all, the guy in there was really cool. He was really, really cool. He was like, you never been here? I'm like, no, I've been here, but like, I was a kid. Yeah, look at the dollar taxi cabs. Oh, Lord. Oh, this door heavy. God, damn. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. New Balance really been showing out. They really have. I like these red ones, to be honest. And these. They have a lot of nice clothes in here though, y'all. Oh, look at TLC. Okay. Y'all tell me what y'all think about that store. Y'all like it? I do, actually. And I need to get me a new pair of sneakers. Yo, y'all, shout out to Hollis Avenue. Period. Now, if y'all can tell where I am, and for those of you who can't tell where I am, I am actually about to approach the Coliseum. I've heard that back then, the Coliseum used to be the place to go over here in Jamaica Avenue. I remember I was talking to my mom and she was like, man, the Coliseum is not how it used to be back in the day. And my father said the same thing. So, I'm gonna show you. Why would we not keep the law? Because that's what keeps us away from sin is by keeping the law. So why would I not keep the law? You can't know about the Ave and never got a patty from here. We do. We do. There's no way you could know about the Ave. I used to get my hair done up there all the time. Oh, should I show y'all? Let me show y'all this store too. I used to get my eyebrows done in that place all the time too. I love the clothes over here. Oh no! Ooh, oh no, no. Oh, these are pretty. I like that one. Y'all, I usually don't ask these questions, but I'm gonna need Queens to check in with me and tell me what's the most grittiest area in your opinion. I need to know. Y'all, this is such Jamaica Avenue furniture. I don't know how to explain that. Like, either you get it or you don't. So we are approaching them back blocks, but first we're gonna try to go into this Coliseum. Can I even go in there? Um, so this is the outside of the Coliseum. Open. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we lit, y'all. I'm gonna just give y'all a little tour around the Coliseum. Show y'all some of the clothing that they have here. <gasps> you guys, let's let's go downstairs. Let's let's do that. Yeah, let's let's do that. Hello. I'm good. There's nothing down here except for jewelry, guys. And like pawn, pawn stuff, you know? So, people come here when they want to pawn their, their, um, their jewelry, when they want to pawn it. I just wanted to give y'all a little tour down here. Y'all, it's giving like abandoned vibes. I'm a little scared. Up the escalator we go. They sell perfumes. Oh yeah, I've been in this sneaker place a couple times. Y'all, if you used to come to the Coliseum, tell me what your favorite store was in here. You guys, so for those of you that watch Raising Canaan, y'all know one, even without watching Raising Canaan, it gets active out here. But for those of you that do watch Raising Canaan, literally right here, right here, they recorded a scene I forgot what episode it was, but for the people that do watch Raising Canaan, please do me a favor and drop in the comments what episode that was so that I can go see again for myself. 
because I remember them shooting a scene right here. You guys, I found where they shot the movie Belly at. I was doing walking around in circles trying to figure out where it was and it's right here. So they call it Oki's Nail and Spa now, but this is where the movie Belly was shot. I used to live right here, going up here. Um, I'm gonna come a little closer and I'm gonna show y'all. Oh, y'all just saw a rat. No, I, I got it. Oh my goodness. Y'all, you see every time where I come back um, near a place that I used to live, I start getting this heavy feeling, y'all. I'm walking up closer. I actually want to get a closer view, so hold on. I'm grateful to even be over here to show y'all this right now. Let me not get hit by a car. I used to go into this store all the time and wait right here at this bus stop to go home from work, y'all. I was coming over here from, um, where was I working at? I believe I was working at that Wendy's. I just wanna say that life is really weird because just two or three, three, three or four years ago, maybe less than that, I was standing right here waiting to go home. Right here. Shout out to MOP, Queensbridge, and Lafrac, and that's on period. I'm now coming up on Jamaica Center train station. I don't know what gets more famous than this area in Queens. Somebody in the comments will have to tell me. And then anything that you would tell me, it still wouldn't, it still wouldn't beat the fact that this is the most famous area in Queens. Let me come over here and show y'all these bus stops. Yes, these bus stops right here. Y'all. I used to get on the bus over here all the time to go to Long Island. I believe it was the N... Ah, I forgot. I think it was the N6 bus going all the way towards Long Island. And I used to come over here every weekend to take that bus. And then I believe the Q44 over here takes you from Jamaica, Queens to the Bronx. We're walking up to the Archer and Parsons Boulevard um, train station. The 113 bus is up this way. This It looks so dead over here. I'm going to be completely honest. You guys, before I got on the train, I was actually trying to see if I could find some dollar vans. Um, I was really thinking about that fried chicken on Farmers and Merrick, but unfortunately I couldn't find any any, any of the uh, dollar bands, and that's okay. I also wanted to stop real quick to give a huge shout out to the guy that gave me a new name to give y'all. Um, his name on YouTube is Real G underscore Entertainment, and um, I'm giving him a huge shout out because I will be calling you guys Mina Nation. It just ring bells. You can't tell me it doesn't. And um, also shout out to my little sister. She will be back in my videos. Um, I know you guys like seeing her on the channel. I just want to say if you guys made it this far in the video, subscribe to my channel. Drop comments. If you're from Jamaica, Queens, you already know you have to drop some comments. There was no way I couldn't come over here if I was in Astoria. I also lived over here, like I said, multiple times throughout the video. So... Yes.